Well, I say this every week, but I think Alana's going to go today for sure because she's just caused so much trouble over the past weeks, so she has to go. I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I'm so hoping that I stay here. My prediction has to be Alana. Her behaviour at the hair salon with Joe Bailey and her behaviour with the Napoleon makeup artists. Double trouble. I haven't really seen anyone slip anything or do anything wrong to really be evicted, so I'm pretty scared and hope it's not me. Unfortunately, as you know, for one of you, this is where the journey ends. Now, before I introduce you to your judges, let me tell you what the winner will receive. Australia's next top model will get a contract with Chic Management, my agency, a trip to Milan to meet with Fashion, one of Italy's top agencies. That's an all-expenses-paid trip plus $1,000 spending money, an eight-page editorial with Clio magazine, and you will star in a campaign for Napoleon Cosmetics. Okay, so the judges who will help me decide which of you stay and who will be going home will be Marguerite Kramer. She has worked with the world's fashion heavyweights. Ken Thompson is a great Australian stylist. Alex Perry is one of Australia's most renowned designers. Your guest judge this week is Joe Bailey. He's the man who's responsible for giving you your hair makeovers and he is also the man who's about to give you your hair challenge. Okay, girls, tonight what I'd like you to do is create a red carpet hairstyle in five minutes. And each one of you have a little package from Joe Bailey that has a brush inside, some elastic bands, some pins, and some hair product. And your time starts now. You need to snap necks on that carpet. So he's going for something about Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Slick, polished, stylish. Two, one, brushes down. Okay, we're going to ask each of you to step forward and be assessed hairstyle number one. Miss Alana? I think it's like a Franklin's look. And I don't understand why you didn't turn the blow dryer on. At all. I think it's wacky and tribal. Yeah, and I can imagine it with some sort of amazing billowing Valentino dress yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. like a whole tunic yeah, yeah, exactly. back. You know, yeah, lots of colours. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> Oh, I like the skirt in that. I like the undone bun. It's classic, and I think it suits you, and I think it's very elegant. It's very Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, <laughs> and very appropriate. Gemma. So we don't have a skirt. I like sort of the tidal wave thing that's coming off the side of your head. I'm a little more opposed to the tidal wave. I think it <laughs> looks a little more Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> It's prom gone wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't remember this because you weren't born, but Demi Moore did something like that in St. Elmo's Fire, and it, it was a bit frightening back then. I'm just getting a flashback right now. Next. <laughs> in the third scene, Demi Moore also did like a say. <laughs> it's nostalgic for me. I think it looks great. I like it. Zoe, you've used pins, you've used them properly, and you've used product, I think, the best of anybody so far. So, great. Yeah, it looks like you had longer than five minutes, <laughs> but we're expecting big things from you. So. It's sort of Sharon Stone, a little crazy. I actually don't mind it. I'm getting more David Beckham when he missed the goal. <laughs> I think with the right outfit, I think it rocks. I think it's good. Shannon. Lose the pins. It's pin abuse. Cool, because I had the long parts. I do my hair, no matter what, I'll put a pin in it, even if I don't need it. <laughs> the tip is that when you think you've got enough hairspray on, put some more. Mm -hmm. Now we'd like for all the girls to leave, bar Alana. OK, Alana, let's take a look at your photo. What do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Your figure doesn't really look that good to me. I think you're looking a little hippie there. And how did you relate working with someone else for the first time? We haven't really gotten along in the house very well, so I thought it was going to be a little bit daunting, but it was, it was good. There is no way that that picture would be possible with your added-on bits. It would look like something completely different and not nice. So oh, I did realise yeah. that. Yeah, you know, there was a little bit of an altercation, I think, at the, at the hair salon to take out the extensions or not yeah, take out the extensions the scenario. And that's exactly what you shouldn't do because nobody actually cares how you want to have your hair or how you want to have your makeup. It's about achieving that and the easiest and simplest way possible. So I've got a bit of a concern about that because you've done that two weeks in a row. It's almost like cutting off your nose to spite your face, the way I see it. All right, thank you, Alana. Thanks. Thanks. 
Let's take a look. Oh, the smiley one. I didn't think they were going to be smiling. But don't you love that? Yeah, no, it's good. My legs look a bit huge. <laughs> <laughs> Under his eyes. Yeah. No. They're not at all. They're not. No. They're not? No. Right. You're holding back. Like, she's more willing to interact with you than you are. It's like this funny little... <clears throat> Yeah. A hug, you know, like almost interacting. And I really have to call a lot of direction for you. While you are working with another girl, you can let the team down. Yeah. So communication is essential. I like that. This is what it looks like to me. Into a lap. And we literally had to get your elbow, put it into a, you know, on a leg. It didn't feel comfortable to me at all. No, darling, you know what? I don't like it at all. You look hard to me there. You look sort of, like Erica was saying, sort of really stiff. It's wooden, do you know? And those, in, these shots shouldn't be that. They should be anything but that. You do take a while to warm up. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. You have to snap into it and snap out of it. But it's good for you to know because next time you'll be much more aware of your body and you'll be much more aware of the emotion that goes into making a beautiful photograph. But you still look hot in your jocks, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. How do you feel about that, Chloe? It looks good. This picture is not a favourite of mine. Okay. I, I think you look almost like a dummy, dummy yeah. in a store window. It's it's you this. See that too? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I don't see any softness there. There's no synergy between the two of you in that photo. It makes it very catalogued to me. This is a shared moment, mm -hmm. and you guys aren't sharing anything. Right down to the way your hand is on her knee, it almost looks like it's paining you to put it there. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye, Thanks. Chloe. Cool. <laughs> Visually, you and Simone seem to work the best together. The black and the white. Yeah. yeah, I must admit that Simone definitely gave more on the day. She really pulled you through. Did you feel that? Um, no, I didn't really feel that, but... Um... <laughs> I mean, I think you look beautiful. You look very beautiful. I just... Um, your body language is, is stiff. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks, Sally. Thank you. Oh my god. No, that's good. What do you like about it, Simone? My posture is really good in it. it and is. my face. My face is really nice. That looks great. Yes, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Top up. <laughs> 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 and, and there's two people in this picture, but you, my eyes are drawn to you. Yes. I think you own this photograph. Yeah. Yeah, you've, you've nailed it here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Fantastic. Oh my god. You look great, Gemma. I look so hot. <laughs> god, my legs don't look fat. And I actually look like I've got a bit of boob there. <laughs> you look healthy yeah. and strong, and you look confident in the face. I think you know how to work the camera and of all of the shots I've seen of you, this is my favourite. I, I really like this. I also love the synergy between the two of you in this. You're very strong, she's yeah. a little bit minxier in it, and but you've but created was... this really great little yeah. environment. And you were that focused, that was your role. Yeah. And Sam softened, which was actually great because Sam by nature is very strong. the up person yeah. and she's too strong. So it's actually a really beautiful photo. Yeah. Great. Good on you. And your bod looks great. <laughs> Take that sexy bum out the door. You look submissive, you look seductive. I think it's beautiful and, I, and it, you know, you can tell this any way you like, but it doesn't look like you, it, which is yeah. great. It's it's you in, a, in somebody else's sort of fantasy. I do like it. It's got a beautiful strength to it, that's right. And our constant, I suppose, criticism of you is that we only see the strength. Yeah. So we'd actually like to see more dimensions in your personality, and Gemma's allowed you to do that. So as much as you don't like her, love yeah. her for this. Thank great. You. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much, guys.